Hi, I'm Lillian Elida and welcome to 60 Seconds with the Savannah Chef. Today I'm sitting down with one of the most popular, talented, beautiful and amazing female entertainers, master of ceremony, mother, friend, daughter, you name it. The one and only Lulu Hangala. If you didn't know, she was in the States for over six weeks. She was part of the YALI initiative, that is Young African Leaders Initiative. She represented Zambia. She has been on covers of magazines. She's worked in radio, TV. She's brand ambassador for Pizza Hut Zambia now, and she's done a lot of amazing things this past year. So we're going, I'm going to sit down with her to discuss how and talk about how it's been. So please join us. All right, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I'm grateful and thank you so much. I want to know when you went over to the States, give us that feel how that was being in the States, being part of such a big project and you know having to work with so many people. Well, firstly, I didn't want to apply for the program. Initially, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to apply because it's too much for me. And then, you know, it was a very prestigious program. It's the most prestigious program that has been done for Africa by the American government for yeah. young people. So it was really something huge for me. And going there, I remember landing in D.C. I cried because I've always dreamt of going to the U.S. and this was my first time out of Africa. So it was really, really a big deal for me, you know, to be out there. Um, the program was initially six weeks for all the 500 young people that went there. We had 21 Zambia. Yeah, 500. Yep. Wow. 500 out of 50,000 applications. Mm -hmm. And if you count the applications that were not finished, it was 80,000 applications. Wow. And they selected only 500. And 21 Zambians went there. It was interesting because you've got 21, 25 people from different countries. You have spread into groups of 25. Yeah and you don't know them from anywhere, they don't know what you do, they don't really care, all they know is that I'm here and I'm the best. Yeah. So it was a thing of egos, but I learned so much about leadership, I learned so much about networking and building relationships that can last a lifetime. And then I got the opportunity also to, to work with the UN Foundation, doing interviews for them at the UN, um, at the UN in New York during the UN Climate Summit. So I got to speak to um, world leaders, thought leaders and influencers on the climate, celebrities, um, as Dr. to Lincoln Park, Natasha Bedingfield, and a host of other people. But it was really interesting because you could tell the difference between doing a show in Zambia and mm -hmm. doing a program also there. It's so different, but I respect Zambian TV presenters, radio presenters, everyone that works in the media, because we work with so little, yeah. and yet we are so passionate, and we do what in the US 20 people would be doing. One person here does what 20 people would be doing out there. Yeah, so it was really interesting. What did you get back with you? I think I've just come back with more renewed energy and love for Zambia, for Africa. I always thought the first time I go to the US I want to stay. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't like that. I belong here right now. I feel this is the right place to be right now. Maybe later I might move, but right now, Africa is where I need to be. 2015, what are we expecting from you? <laughs> Well, 2015 um, promises to be a big year. Um, I'm so excited uh, because of the partnerships that I've built so far. Mm -hmm. um, the most exciting thing during December was um, being um, invited to be the brand ambassador of Pizza Hut Zambia. Awesome. Besides that, I've got new management mm -hmm. and they've got really big plans for me for next year. Um, look out for the We Keep Moving project to grow bigger and better. Mm -hmm. So giving back through mentorship and other ways and um, just new brand partnerships that are just going to blow your mind. So I can't wait um, to grow even further in my career. So yeah, that's what I wanted to sit down with. And then I wanted for people to also get to see this side of Lulu Hangala that you never get to see. As she may have, I know her on a personal level. And we've done this so many, a few times this year. And every single time, it's a source of inspiration, a source of warmth, love and compassion and passion that you can feel whenever she talks and I think you also could feel that from your heart as you are listening to the interview. And thank you so much for sitting down with myself and Lolo Hangala on the table today. Until next time, keep watching The Savannah Chef. We have so many more exciting things with you this year. So thank you. Bye.